Well, there's no secret Arch Manning is a wanted prospect when it comes to the class of 2023. The number one player in the nation making his way around programs this past weekend. Find his way to Texas this time, getting to know Steve Sarkeesian and the Longhorns pretty well. This was actually his fourth visit to Austin. Previously went to Texas for unofficial visits in June, October of last year, along with a stop back in March. Arch has been a busy man when it comes to seeing those Power 5 schools. Taking a look at the recruitment trail for him so far, of course. He had a chance to go see Georgia. And then why not go see Nick Saban in Alabama? But taking a look at it, when it comes to the numbers, it's not just the last name. He puts up numbers. The reason why he's a five-star and number one is position and nationally coming out of that 2023 class. I want to welcome it's Steve Wilfong, director of recruiting for 24-7 Sports. And Steve, you look at it here, Arch Manning making his rounds. What can you tell us about this latest trip, the fourth one there to Austin with Texas after this weekend? Yeah, good morning. I mean, it's obvious that Texas has been one of the major contenders for Arch Manning since the beginning of his process. And they're not even recruiting another quarterback. When you talk to some of these other coveted 2023 passers, they're not saying, I'm keeping in touch with Texas just in case Arch Manning goes elsewhere. So Steve, Car Steve Sarkeesian, AJ Milwee and company have been all in on Arch Manning from the beginning. They built a great relationship with him his family, his, his coaches over at Isidore Newman. And he's been to campus several times, including this past weekend. Another opportunity to get around the staff in person, get around the players, get around some other top targets of Texas. And now he, he comes home and, and, and reassesses everything again. He took official visits to Georgia, Alabama, and Texas in consecutive weekends. Those are the three schools that have gotten four recruiting visits. Uh, uh, for Arch Manning and, and uh, for him, I think now it's it's comparing those programs and seeing if he wants to go back out and see some games again this fall. His dad has talked about that. His coach has talked about that being a possibility as well. So, you know, we'll see how, how the information comes together for Arch Manning now that he took another visit to Texas. He definitely has something to chew on there, as you mentioned, after seeing those three programs. And, of course, Texas, the latest one. But what's the timetable here? When will we get closer to maybe a possible choice or maybe a final two in your eyes? What do you think? Yeah, that's the thing. There's never been a timetable for, for Arch Manning. Just whenever he feels like it's the right time to make a, a college decision. And I know that he's looking at several factors. You know, he wants to go to a school – uh, that's going to prepare him to be the best quarterback he can be. Go play for a program that's going to compete uh, in, in the biggest ball game, but also go to a school that's going to give him a great college experience. You know, I know College Town is exciting for him. Now, Austin and Athens are, are two places in particular that I know that he just loves the vibe uh, of, of the College Town. I, I think he just you know, wants to have a great three to four to five years in college uh, before he goes on to uh, uh, the next chapter in his life. So all those things are, are factors. And and again, I, I, the, there has been talk that he may go out and see some games again this fall and watch these teams play before he makes a final decision. We saw there in the rip, of course, his targets there. One of his targets, tight end Will Randall, has committed to Texas this morning. He was actually on that visit there with Arch. Uh, chances that might kind of sway him there to the Longhorns. Well, they're great buddies, you know, and I think they connected 42 times for 10 touchdowns as a junior. And Will Randall, one of the best two-way players in Isidore Newman history per his head coach, Nelson Stewart, a guy that also shines as an edge rusher uh, um, and a guy that Texas also prioritized early. They beat out LSU, they beat out Virginia and several others for Will Randall and, and Will and Arch have, have played a lot of sports together uh, over the years in that Isidore Newman uh, arena and, and uh, they've taken a lot of college visits together and I know they're good buds and but but they're making their own decisions you know just like Will Randall strongly considered Virginia you know, Arch Manning strongly considering Georgia and Alabama among others but you know you never know recruiting's a game of inches and you never know what inch is going to help you and, and uh, certainly Will Randall picking Texas couldn't hurt the burnt orange's chances. All right, let's put the man in watch on the back burner for a second here. Look at another pass catcher, five-star wide receiver, Cardinal Tate, who will announce his decision today at 1 p.m. Eastern. His final four, Ohio State, Tennessee, Notre Dame, and LSU. What can you tell us about those possibilities for him today? Yeah, the number two receiver in the top 247. I think it has really come down to two schools. You got Ohio State who's been one of the top contenders for him uh, his entire process when they offered him. I think I might even put in 
a 24-7 sports crystal ball prediction uh, that day. But uh, to say that I didn't waver on that prediction would be inaccurate because I think Tennessee uh, has done a terrific job with Carnell, getting them to campus several times, showing them a program on the rise. Coach Heupel and that ball's offense was one of the more prolific ones in college football in year one in Knoxville. So it's an exciting time to be a Tennessee fan as uh, uh, they try and get that program back on track. But I still like Ohio State going into today's decision for Carnell Tate. Ohio State in the mix to finish with the nation's number one recruiting class. And they're always in it for the premier receivers for several reasons. Brian Hartline, uh, Ryan Day's offense, Brian Hartline and his uh, ability to develop players. They had the first two receivers picked in the most recent NFL draft. Uh, um, the way Coach Hartline connects with players, same with Ryan Day. Keenan Bailey's a big uh, impact guy for, for Ohio State on the trail in that arena as well. And, and him being a Chicagoland native, I think everything's lining up for Ohio State in this recruitment. We'll know for sure later this afternoon. But the Buckeyes uh, uh, have only coveted a few receivers this cycle. Carnell Tate's one of them. And with the way that Ohio State is developing and producing receivers, they have a pretty high hit rate uh, on the guys they target. And I think today is another uh, another afternoon where it should be a pretty good one for Ryan Day and company. All right, so Ryan Day sits pretty good to land another star wide receiver. This one out of IMG, of course. We'll see how that pans out later today. How about offensive tackle Caden Proctor? Not taking any playing visits, of course, of Penn State, Oregon, and Michigan, but he's down to two, Alabama and Iowa. What do you expect with those final two? Well, before his Alabama official visit earlier this month, I wrote that I, I, I had a feeling that Alabama would, would blow him away because he's wired like an Alabama football player. You know, the game's incredibly important to him. Uh, maximizing his potential on the field is, 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 is something that's a major, major factor for him in his recruitment. And really just his personality and the way he carries himself reminds me of a, the way a lot of these Alabama guys that I covered uh, were like in high school. So I had a feeling he would fit in well down there, like the vibe, like the all business approach of Alabama football. And, and, and so you see them jump into the final two alongside Iowa, who's been considered the team to beat for much of the process, a lot of that because of proximity, but also player development and, and what Iowa's been able to do at, at the point of attack. But it's near his family, it's, it's close to home. Uh, um, you know, it's a program that's built on physicality and, and development in the trenches and nutrition and, and, and a great strength and conditioning program. And so he's going to take that visit to Iowa, and then we'll see what happens uh, from there. Uh, but I could see Caden Proctor at either of his finalists and, and, and thriving. All right, Steve, before I let you go, we are in that final recruiting cycle here in June. Any names that might jump out that you're watching here as we get through the rest of the month? And so many names, Brandon. Everybody's making the rounds, taking official visits. Just off, uh, you know, off the cuff from this past weekend, we talked about Carnell Tate. But Brandon Innes, a five-star receiver from, from uh, uh, Florida, took his official visit to Ohio State this weekend, and I love where the Buckeyes stand for him as well. Just the ball feeling strong uh, on OSU for Brandon Innes. David Hicks, you see there at number six. 24-7 sports crystal ball says Texas A&M. He just had a great official visit to Oregon. Dan Lanning and the Ducks, that first-year staff, they have a lot of momentum on the trail right now. I think they're in good position right now to uh, find their way into the top 10 of the 24-7 sports recruiting rankings when all said and done with some of the elite names that they're in on. Behind David Hicks, you got five-star quarterback Dante Moore, five-star running back Richard Young. So Oregon is really a team to watch, and I'm hearing a lot of buzz about on the trail right now. All right, Steve Wolfong, you thought you were done. You got plenty of work ahead, my friend. All those guys on that list keep you busy there, as always. Appreciate you tapping in on HQ this morning. Hey, don't forget, 24-7 Sports, keep you tapped in. Again, five-star wide receiver Cardinal Tate down to four. We'll find out his decision. The fellas there at 24-7 Sports thinking he's swaying towards Ohio State. Always keep in tap when it comes to those recruits and wall to wall team coverage. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.